It's uh, Sunday, the 24th of October. It's about uh, 10 minutes to 1. I wanted to uh, pick up again from uh, where I stopped across the street. Right over there is where I ran out of film a minute ago, uh, starting again. There's not a whole lot more to see up the street because you run into the uh, museum. But you are able to see the um, Grand Hotel up there and the new bridge that goes across the Jilung River if you haven't been here in many years. So what I wanted to do is just show you the other side now of uh, Chungshan. Mostly taken up by the floral exhibit. In fact, it all is. And so, uh, if we look right out here, this was a corner, there was a street here that went this way, down here, to the corner. And if you look over there um, in the far distance, you'll see the uh, orange roof. That is the uh, Taipei Metro Station. And then uh, to the left over here, that's the old football or the soccer stadium as we call it. That they've converted into a uh, showroom and uh, various things for the floral expo. The soccer stadium is no longer a soccer stadium. And this area out here is just uh, flowers and exhibit, just, just general uh, different types of flowers walkways, hills, they constructed and pulled in dirt. It's kind of interesting. Then you can go across over there and get into the Children's Park, which is uh, just way over there where it used to be during our time. And uh, if you look up in this area, uh, back in here, there was a couple of uh, temples back on the other side of that mountain. And of course, uh, up here, uh, right there, the white building is a police station that was there. And the officers club used to sit probably about right where that palm tree is right there, right right in this area, right up there. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and walk back down the street, the west compound, and you get to see what's over there. It looks like it wants to rain again. I, I looked at the weather forecast this morning and it said rain for the next 10 days. <laughs> I suppose the sun will poke out sometimes, sprinkles and rain, uh, but some type of participation, participation, precipitation, precipitation. Well, here's a new building they've just put in, just opened. In fact, it's finally open. I think they're still working inside. Echo Arc. E-C-O-A-R-K, so you can, what it literally means, I assume, is the Echo Arc, some type of an arc. Oh, you can barely see, oh, you missed the MRT, there it is, right through there, you can see it moving way back in the back, maybe uh, how sharp your screen is. I got this in uh, 720 high def, so maybe you pick it up. Um, so there's not a whole lot to see here in the Echo Arc, although there is some stuff inside, but I don't think they've finished it yet. So now some of these trees have been here a number of years. Whether they, I don't know if these trees were the ones that were here back in the day, or they've been changed. But the old stomping grounds are familiar. You certainly can't miss them. One of the choicest places in town. I don't know that we could have had a better place to have our facilities when, during the day, you know? It was just right where everything was at. Now looking in here again, uh, I can see over there and there's, a, there's water. There's like a little pond that runs through there, quite large. There's a lot of video screens over there too. I don't know what's gonna be on them. Okay, we're moving on down. See, there's still construction going on down here. And at night, uh, I just happened to see the television show of this the other day that one of the news uh, stations 
stations put on and, and, and all of these are uh, are lit up at night. Uh, probably LED lights that run through it makes different types of uh, flower things. Uh, I don't have any, if I can find a link I can post it, but it would probably be in Chinese. But I uh, may do that if I can find it. So you can see basically where we are again. Now probably at one time, you know this this red overpass here. You know back in the day they would put up at at uh, Double Ten Day and uh, when somebody of importance was visiting, they put up right in this area uh, one of those big red over the highway signs, and uh, it, it was right here in this area. Right here in this area. Now, if, if you're uh, 65 years old or above, and you buy the MR the the, the uh, Metro card, and just it's like a it's like a, a credit or well, not a credit card, but a debit card. Uh, you can ride the, the bus for half price, and it's cheap to ride the bus anyway, so, of course, I'm, you know, remember during our time, at least when I was here, you could ride the, any bus free if you had your uniform on. Of course, I never did. But now, uh, if you're 65 or above, you can ride the bus for half price. Uh, you can't ride the uh, Metro. It used to be, when I was here a couple of years ago, I could ride the Metro because I was 65 then, uh, free, but now you have to be a a registered, uh, your, your household must be a registered in Taipei, and you have to pr show proof that you're a Taipei resident to get the uh, discounted price on the metro. So, not, no big deal. Uh, it's quite inexpensive to ride the metro. Now, you can ride on the high speed rail uh, about 40% off if you're an elderly citizen. Uh, I know you, you know, I'm, I'm retired, so that, that money helps. Okay, I don't know what this is. It looks like a uh, racetrack or something. I don't know what's going to go in there. Maybe, uh, maybe seats. Just don't have any idea. I assume this is all going to come off, this scaffolding here at one time or another. And then just this big tree will, will sit here and uh, shade the area. Okay, Echo Art. We're getting back down toward the end here. There's still some construction material out here. I'm not sure what it's here for. Tiles, granite tiles, granite, little granite pieces here. So, I, it's, you know, you can walk on those. I don't know. Oh, there it is. It's not quite. Well, they're going to fill Oh, some guy there with his little measuring thing with the wheel on it to find out how much you're going to compute up how much granite he needs, I guess. Okay, they're across the street. Uh, let's see, where's the man? Okay. Uh, where is it? Right here. Right there. The old, uh, the old, yeah. <laughs> the new American building, I think. I won't swear to that. But they had a flag on it the other day, so two U.S. flags. So I'm assuming that's it. Of course, this thing has got cameras everywhere. There's one right up here. And that's it that we can see because here's a big fence that goes around. But we'll walk down here to this, as far as we can go and, and just fill out this video with scenes from the corner up here. to just uh, plug our trip for next year if you're interested in uh, coming over uh, Gene and I have uh, put together uh, an itinerary that we'll we'll take next year on a trip um, so if you're interested in that check our uh, website out uh, it's on the blog and it's uh, trip to Taiwan uh, next year November